Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Now I've got a like little, I guess it's kind of a rant video for you guys today. And it's really more so about the fact that, of how passionate people are on this subject. But how sad in a way it is altogether. Now what I'm here to talk about is the fact that people and this and these like fiction debates. Now to like just give you a brief example, like a fiction debate can probably about, be about anyone or anything and about kind of like a who would win or how strong this fictional being or character is, right? And the reason why it's been on my mind is recently in a YouTube uh, recommended section, I saw this video about uh, how a Dragon Ball Z character could beat a character from another anim anime and whatnot. And whilst I'm not really a big anime fan, I just I just had nothing better to do, so I gave it a watch. And, you know, I usually stay away from comments, but I look in the comments and, like, the sheer amount of hate that this person got for their opinion, I might add. Opinion. Not about reality. You know, it wasn't like they gave a really controversial opinion about reality. It was a controversial... Well, I, I wouldn't even call it controversial. It was just their opinion about fiction. Fiction. And the amount of hate that this person got on their channel because of that video... You know, like, even now, like, the video was made, like, I think two years ago. And even now, people are still, like, leaving comments, you know, like, about, like, how much of an idiot this guy is. And, you know, he didn't do his research on this or that. And so I kind of just wanted to get, like, a bit of this feeling off my chest. Now, you know, like, these are usually the communities that consume heavy amounts of media, whether that be anime or comics or whatnot and you know heck i consume plenty of comics here and there but my issue with these kinds of like debates is what why so serious you know and <laughs> uh get uh tell me what reference that is but seriously why so serious you know like why why is it so important for you to defend this non-existent character's power you know, like, this power that is not going to affect you, this power that is written by the authors so they can decide how powerful or no, or non-powerful, you know, this said character is. But, like, is it really worth, like, the personal attacks that you see on these videos simply because someone said X character in fiction could be X character in fiction? Like, is that really worth, you know, coming after this guy in such a way that, you know, like, they don't even, they just turn off the comments, like, for a while until it blows over? You know, like, I just don't understand, like, why someone could be so passionate about something that does not exist to the degree that they are literally going to attack someone personally and even follow them on their social medias to attack them. Like, I understand that you're passionate about this and whatnot, but at the end of the day, like, I've got news for you. I've got, like, some news for you, pal. It doesn't matter who wins. It doesn't matter who you think is stronger or why you think they're stronger. You know why? Because they don't exist. They're not real. You're not going to miss out on anything by, you know, fighting for them or by not fighting for them. By voting for them or voting against them. Because at the end of the day, they are not a part of reality. They're a fictional universe created by an author for whatever reason that the author wanted to create them. And they serve that fictional universe. You know, like, they don't have to defend their honor. It doesn't exist. They don't have to prove anything. They do not exist. Why are you going out of your way to try and prove something for these characters? And the fact that, like, these kinds of fictional debate videos you know, get all of these views and all of these likes and dislikes, depending on if it's controversial towards that fandom or not, it baffles me, because the passion that these people have for these kinds of things, it's it's amazing and whatnot, but at the end of the day, they're, they're, the issues aren't really 
issues. You know, it's just a fictional. It's a fictional universe, and yet, like people treat this as it's such it's such an issue when someone does not agree with my opinion or the majority opinion on this. But at the end of the day, like that that's not really an issue. Like we have real world issues here. We have real set in reality issues here and your passion is directed at a universe that does not exist your passion is defending a character whose honor and power are non-existent you you defend this character that you could never touch that doesn't exist that you will never ever know aside from what the author wants you to know about the character you're defending this character as if you are close to this character now i do understand that characters in fiction you know obviously are meant to emulate personalities and people of the world like shy characters in fiction are obviously representing shy characters in life you know i guess what what would you call them outgoing characters are obviously representing outgoing characters Uh, excuse me outgoing people in life but at the end of the day they're fiction You cannot be a part of their world, nor can they really truly be a part of yours. They can be a part of yours in the regards of media and TV and comics and whatnot, but they are not a part of your world in the fact that they are physically here. There is no need to fight or attack them. There's no. It doesn't matter if someone downplays them or someone upplays them. You are not missing out on anything by defending or attacking this character. The world is not going to stop revolving around the sun if you defend or attack this character. If someone downplays or upplays this character, you know, like, nothing is going to happen. Your world is not going to come crashing down. That's not going to change the fact that you still have to pay bills. That's not going to change the fact that you still have to be an adult sometimes. You know, so I really just do not understand the childishness of these fandoms and whatnot. In the regards of these fictional debates, it abs- it makes absolutely no sense how a video can, like, get about, what, like, 10,000 dislikes. I think that's what it was, like, 10,000 dislikes because someone does not agree with a fictional debate. And they do not agree that X fictional character would be X fictional character. And the fact that people in these fandoms think that that warrants... 10,000 dislikes, you know, like, is insane. And listen, I'm not telling you that you can't give your criticism and whatnot, but the point of the matter is the level of passion for this, these fandoms and whatnot and these fictional debates is so absolutely astounding that just imagine where what that could be for, like, actual issues, you know, real-world problems. And yet, they're spending all of their time on these fictional debates about these characters that will not affect their lives that don't really have any meaning and most of them will nine times out of ten be forgotten in the next decade you know like this character that might be hot now could legit be yesterday's news within 10 years i know that maybe they won't be in your heart but trust me there's plenty of characters back in the day that people don't know like Take, take Popeye, for example. I grew up watching a bit of Popeye because I had, like, Boomerang and whatnot. But I can uh, I can assure you that virtually probably at least 70 to 80% of this younger generation has no clue what Popeye is. So a character that is amazing and really popular now can legit be yesterday's news within a short span of time. It doesn't even have to be a decade sometimes. It can legit just be yesterday's news, and here you are defending this character up and down as if, you know, like, you have to protect their honor for some reason. As if that character is about to go into, like, decades of depression if you do not defend this character. It makes absolutely no sense to me that you can legit, you know, send hate hate messages and death threats to people simply because they downplay or upplay a character. I just want you to know that at the end of the day, they don't exist. It's a fictional debate. Emphasis on fictional, okay? Like, they don't exist. There is no reason to have a 30-minute 30 30 minute video responding to someone's video 
because they downplayed a character that you like, or vice versa. There is absolutely no reason to do so. This level of passion should be directed at issues that are actually important in our day and age. So, I kindly ask you of the fandoms, if you're going to continue to have these fictional debates, which obviously you are, like you're not going to give a crap about some small guy's YouTube channel and whatnot, at least just take into account that this is fiction. It really doesn't freaking matter how strong or not, or how weak this character is because they don't bloody exist. It's just that simple. And with that being said, that is going to bring this video to a close. I know it was pretty quick and kind of out of nowhere, but after seeing a video like that with 10,000 dislikes and hate messages up the anus in that comment section, I, I kind of had to get that off my chest. So I hope you all enjoyed. As always, rate the video what you think it deserves. Tell me what you'd like to see in the future in the comments below. Feel free to check out the Amino. It is linked in the comments. Feel free to check out my bit shoot. It will be linked in the description. And I will see all of you in the next video. Take care, people.